Hello again and welcome to the Cliff Ellis Show. I'm your host, Brandon Dunn, along with Coastal Carolina men's basketball coach Cliff Ellis. It's week four of the show as we now continue on in the conference schedule. Another tough week, coach. But then again, as you've been saying for weeks now, it's always that way in the Big South. Yeah, well, every every team has proven itself. Best I've seen the league uh, since I've been here in my eight years, uh, without question. Uh, every team in this league can win a basketball game against you. You got to bring it every night. Makes it fun for the fans, but uh, you know, in the past you could coast a game or two. There's no coasting this year, and uh, you know we finish it. We, we're next Wednesday. We'll be halfway through the regular season race, so uh, there's a log jam at the top. A lot of people around. Uh, it's going to be an interesting race. We start off the show with a home game at the HTC Center against Presbyterian. The Shawna Claire's coming into this one, as Coach just alluded to, in a five-way tie atop the conference at 5-2. and two. And let's take you out to the action. And Coach, another good crowd here at the HTC yeah. Center, as you've always wanted. Very proud of the fans, the, the way that they support us. They're loyal and uh, just tickle me to death. And uh, I think it makes a difference for our team. As the game got rolling here, Coach, again, you guys were able to start off just a little bit slow. Uh, this, this team playing the zone, not unlike the last two opponents you faced. And it seemed like it took a while for you guys to kind of figure that out. Well, I think the zone has, has, has caused us some issues uh, early on. But I think the second half, uh, we really did some good things. But the thing that I'll say about our team is we competed. And when you compete, good things can happen. And, and the fact that we competed, we were able to do enough to pull this win out. It was a slow start for both teams, as Coach just said. Buckets were at a premium. But the good thing is you came into this game knowing that rebounding was going to be a key yes. issue, especially after Thursday. And Tristan Curtis and Badu Jang, boy, those two fellows were dynamic there in the first 10 minutes rebounding the ball. Well, you look at Badu and he gets 11 rebounds and Tristan gets 10. That's 21 rebounds between the two. But you got to also comment on some of the perimeter guys. Warren Gillis with five. Siobhan Wiggins, smallest guy on the court with five. Those are pretty good numbers. You were able to start hitting some uh, some buckets down the stretch here at the about eight minute mark. But coming down the stretch, you got a big dunk from Badu and that's got the fans excited. And then on another break, here we go again with Tristan Curtis following up with another dunk. Back to back dunks and boy, this place was rocking. Well, uh, that gets fans energized. The thing that energizes fans is a, is a dunk and a three point shot. That gets people going. The three point shot wasn't falling in the first half, but we were able to get some. That uh, play to Badu Jang was a, was a, was a set play. and. You know, I thought it might ignite our team and certainly get the fans. And Tristan, of course, on the follow-up showed his medal. And it's like you said, you had called a timeout prior to that, and it seemed like it was a set play. It worked to your advantage. You were able to claw back into this game, and you took a lead there. And at that point, it seemed like the whole focus of the team and this game changed. Well, I think that it took some pressure off our team offensively. We were competing. We were playing great defense, but it, it, it kind of, Opened, them, opened the valves up, so to speak, and allowed them to be uh, more freely moving. You got a couple of good shots. As you mentioned, the three started falling. Baju had one on the side. That went in as well. And as you mentioned in your press conference, you tried to change a little bit of what he was doing, taking him outside instead of inside, and it worked to your advantage. Well, I think Badu is a guy that he gives us our best chance to score inside, but he's also one of our better three-point shooters. So we got to utilize him in and out, and uh, I think we'll do that the rest of the season. I think it'll help us open up some things against the zone. Coach, coming down the stretch here right before the half, a big bucket inside by Tristan give you a five-point lead, and then Josh Cameron off the bench. His three-point shooting hasn't been all that great the last couple of games, but, boy, he delivered today, gave you a six-point lead at the break. Well, he didn't shoot it the way he's capable of shooting it today, but when he hit them, they were in a timely fashion. Uh, we were struggling shooting the basketball, uh, with the exception of Badu, really. And, um, uh, that, but his three was timely there before the half, and he'll hit some in the second half that will be the same. 26-20 at the break, Shauna Clares going into the half. Coach, what would you tell your team at halftime to get them prepared for that second half? Because, as you mentioned, that first five minutes is always crucial. Well, the, I was proud of the fact that they competed. The shots will fall, keep competing. That's great defense when you held, held a, hold an opponent to 20 points and then you've got 14 offensive rebounds to zero. You're, you're up six. If they're not competing, we're down 10, 15 points. So I was proud of our team for the way we competed. 
coming out into the second half. Your club feeling it, especially Siobhan Wiggins driving and getting tough buckets. That's been his MO all year. And again, he started that in the second half, and it was good for your club. Absolutely. When he can get in the paint and he can make that shot, it certainly helps us. And that, that was a good running jumper there. Warren Gillis again doing what Warren Gillis does, just delivering, hit another bucket here, puts you up by four, and then you guys were starting to feel it a little bit. Well, when you start making shots, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of contagious, and, uh, you know, you, your other guys feel like they can make it, so it, our juices are starting to flow. We're starting to get in the ebb of the offense and making some things happen. The game changer happened at the 10-minute mark. Josh Cameron nails a three from the corner. Then he comes up with a huge steal, dishes it off to Michelle Ananga, who gets a buck underneath. That's a five-point play right yes. there. That puts you in double digits, and it seemed like after that it was pretty much done. Well, that five-point play without them having the ball is a big turnaround because now we're in double digits. and uh, that, that, to me, was the turning point of the game. If there was a turning point, that was it right there. Coming down the stretch, as you mentioned, the turning points, you just started hitting some buckets. Badu hit a big three that puts you up by 14. You come back a little bit later on, Josh Cameron hits another jumper. It puts you up 52-36. And as they like to say, the rest is history. Well, we, we stayed, stayed the course. Uh, got to give credit Presbyterian down and got on a little three-point run. <laughs> and it, They weren't going to go away, but again, I was proud of our team for the way we competed in this game. And the Shawna Clears go on to win this one 63-52 to get back into the win column and break that two-game losing skid, which is always good. Puts them at 6-2 and two in the Big South Conference, 15-5 and five overall. But you got to give it off to a couple of fellas. Tristan Curtis had a big game, 6 points, 10 boards. Badu, 10 and 11. And then, of course, Josh Cameron coming off the bench gave you 16 points. So, Coach, a well-rounded affair as you had four guys in double digits. Well, we had balanced scoring. And... Uh, you know, that's always keeps the keeps the opponent at odds because they, they can't just zero in on one guy. It was tough for us, you know, but we just had to make some adjustments. We had to play with more urgency. We had to, like Josh said, we had to rebound more. And, you know, we just stuck together and hustle, made all the hustle plays and pulled out in the end. We, just, we had to pick the energy up, man. And what we was trying to do is just get rebounds, get all the hustle stats, get loose balls, get steals, turnovers. And just mix it up so um, so we can get out of this little two-game slunk uh, flunk we was in. The HTC peak performer goes to two individuals this week as Josh Cameron delivers with 16 points off the bench. Badu Jane goes for a double-double, 10 and 11. And coach, without those two gentlemen, uh, this could have been a different outcome. Well, they uh, we we competed as a team. This was really a team win. But I thought Josh's plays hitting the three and then getting the steal, that five-point play was a big turning point. And then. You can't turn down a double-double by do getting 11 points and 10 rebounds. You got to always give it when that that's that's workmanship right there. Coach Warren Gillis, the Philly product. What a fantastic career he's had for Coastal Carolina. Has had a lot of milestones and he's just been a pleasure to have here. Just talk a little bit about what he's meant to you. Well, he's a senior leader. He's been playing since his freshman year and you know, he's he's a quiet leader. Uh, everybody respects him and what he does. What a what a gentleman he is. He comes to play. He's got basketball IQ. Uh, offensively, he can dribble, pass, shoot, the three things you do with a basketball. Defensively, he's going to bring it. Uh, just understands the game. He's been a leader for our ball club. What uh, an, an ambassador for Coastal Carolina basketball. I can't think of any better than Warren Gillis. Mark Haggard has more on Warren Gillis and what he has meant to this program. Number zero for Coastal Carolina has been one of the Chanticleer's biggest impact players. Six foot three senior shooting guard Warren Gillis was Big South Conference Tournament MVP last season, leading CCU to an appearance in the NCAA Tournament. This year, Gillis is CCU's second leading scorer with nearly 13 points a game. This Philadelphia native remembers being recruited to come to Coastal. Oh, it's the atmosphere. It's such a relaxing atmosphere. I come from the city. There's a lot of noise and everything. Everything's moving so fast, and it just it was kind of good to get a different, get a change. Teammates have plenty of respect for Gillis, who has started every game this season, averaging 30 minutes a contest. He's our leader. He's a catalyst on offense. We look for him when when the time goes down. You know, he's he, he's really the true leader of this team, and he, he just keeps the offense going. He gets us motivated on defense. He's he's a true captain. Perhaps his biggest strength is free throw shooting. He averages nearly 89% from the charity stripe, ranking him among the top 20 in the nation. 
was just confidence, just expecting yourself to make it and, and sort of blocking out all the noise. The only way you can block out the noise is if you expect to make it. Like you hear all the noise and be like, okay, I'm going to make it anyway. And then you, you make the shot. In the final five minutes in Big South games this season, he's hit 50% of his shots. Coach Ellis is happy to have the ball in his hands when the game is on the line. He's been one of our most consistent players over the last two or three years. Not a thing that he can't do with the ball, dribble, pass, shoot. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've just been very fortunate to have him. He scored over 1,000 points. That tells you a lot about him. With 10 games left on their conference schedule, Gillis figures to play a key role leading up to the Big South Tournament in March at the HTC Center. This is trying to move forward and, and keep keep playing, getting better every game. And uh, it's not... You don't want to look in the past for anything. You just want to keep moving forward and keep playing. Coming up next, Coach will break down the game against UNC Asheville. That's coming up next right here on the Cliff Ellis Show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by a &I Fire and Water Restoration. My HTC digital cable service connects me to my favorite shows and new release movies with video on demand. So I can watch what I want, when I want, and I can choose from more than 200 channels, including digital cable sports. I'll never miss a play for my favorite team in any season. With HTC, it's a win-win, because HTC connects me with the things that mean the most. Score big with ESPN3. More college sports action on eight more channels. Only $5 a month on Passport Plus. Call 369-8967. HTC, this is life. Connect with... At Logan's Roadhouse, we grill up sizzling Southern-inspired flavor using time-honored recipes we've collected and perfected over time. From the inviting aromas of our wood-fired grilled steaks to our delicious from scratch dishes with seasonings you can see, we know how to bring out food's true flavor. And when you pair our food with an ice-cold beer or our handcrafted roadhouse tea, you'll understand why Logan's Roadhouse is much more than a restaurant. Come to where steak rules the road. Logan's Roadhouse. As parents, you ensure your child is fed and clothed, but are you doing all you can to make sure they're healthy? Each year, Tens of millions of children contract the flu virus. Help your child fight the flu and be a health hero in their life. Health Hero offers school-located vaccinations throughout the Southeast. We help protect your children, family, and community with convenient, safe, and painless options. Administering flu mist nasal spray to participating students. And there are no out-of-pocket expenses regardless of insurance. Become a health hero today. Strand Orthopedic is a proud supporter of Coastal Carolina Athletics. Strand Orthopedic provides the best care from simple sprains to the most complex spinal or sports related injuries. It is our mission to get patients back to life and back in the game and help them resume normal activities in the safest and shortest amount of time. Get in the game with Strand Orthopedic. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by the Britain Law Firm. Welcome back here uh, to the Cliff Ellis Show. Coach, you got a victory on Saturday. You went on the road, however, earlier in the week on Thursday to UNC Asheville. A beautiful place, but a hostile environment, a place, unfortunately, Coach, uh, since they opened up that Kimmel Arena, uh, you guys haven't been able to get a win there yet. Well, it's been, what, three years, but uh, national televised game, it's always a tough place to play. And the reason it's tough is because they're good. I mean, this is a team that... Uh, I guess two out of the last three years have been to the NCAA tournament out of our league. They got a great team and uh, their fans were really energized. I know their student body was really into this game and we got off to a slow start. They knocked down threes. Uh, you know, we couldn't make shots the way we needed to and we didn't rebound the way we needed to and UNC Asheville was the better team in this game. And with that, let's take you out to the highlights, show you what happened in this game as Coach just alluded to. It was a tough evening for the Shawna Clares. For the Bulldogs, not so much. They came out on fire. Coach, you just said it. They hit some big threes. Their top guards were just fantastic. It seemed like every time they threw one up, it was going in. Well, we didn't stay attached. I was disappointed with, with our guard play at times that we, were, we went into the game saying we got to stay attached to the three-point shooters. We didn't do that. From the big men's standpoint, we didn't rebound the way that we needed to. Other than that, we, we, we did the right things offensively. The shot wasn't going down. There it was. But... We, we didn't compete on the boards the way we did Saturday against Presbyterian, and we didn't stay attached to the threes. Those were the biggest thing, and our transition defense was very lax. So 
we, we shorted up Saturday. We got to learn from it, but you got to give Asheville credit. They're a team that's in the mix, and they're a very good basketball team. And then all of a sudden, you guys were able to get a bucket by Tristan Curtis to cut it to 17 11 with 10 minutes to go. Well, it's 10 minutes to go. We're still there, and, uh, you know, we just got to dig in. We got to try to dig in. Here we go again, more three-point shooting yep. from the Bulldogs. Every time you guys would get a two, they would deliver with a three, and it just seemed to be that kind of night for them. Everything that they were, were throwing up was going in. And just like that, it's a 10-point game after another dunk by Jaleel Roberts, and you're down 10 with eight and a half to go. Well, if you do the math, threes add up a little. They add up more. You know, the way I learned it, you know, three times five is 15, two times five is 10. So you're down five points just off a three-point shooting, correct? You're correct, you are correct. Four and a half to play, Robertson again, another layup, and it seemed like their inside game was going just as well as their outside game, because uh, right after that, you're, you're down 30 to 19. Uh, the seven-footer Roberts is a load inside. I mean, he is a legitimate seven feet. Uh, he has really developed his game, and he made some plays, as did Powell inside. They had two guys that they just, they just kept bringing at us. They were loads inside. And then Weeks inside, I thought his power, they just kept running power at us. We're a finesse team. They ran the power at us. They threw those three-point shots at it. It was a tough night. A couple of more threes go down, and as you mentioned, Weeks comes off the bench and had a big game for them. He put them up 40-26 to 26 at the half, and, Coach, you were down double digits going into the break. Well, we talked about the fact that we've got to get this thing under 10, but I can tell you this, that we can't. Uh, come off those three-point shooters, and we got to get some rebounds. If we don't do that, we don't have a chance. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't change. We really didn't get into this, and I know our highlights will take it to it. I, I didn't see that sense of urgency till about the seven-minute mark. And then when we got to the seven-minute mark, wow, I mean, we just went to another level. And so I think the lesson to be learned here is we got to pay attention to detail. We've got to go out the first five minutes of each half make some things happen. Uh, but when we do get to the seven minute mark, that's the time where our team really, really showed some good things. But you can't go on the road, play a team like Asheville, 33 minutes, allow them to have their way and then try to dig yourself out of a hole that I think it got as, as tough as 20 points at one time. But we dug back in, got it under 10, and uh, you know had chances to get it uh, even closer than that. And with that, Coastal Carolina suffers their second consecutive loss as they fall to the Bulldogs by 10, 75-65. That dropped them at that point to 5-2, and two, gave you your second loss in the Big South Conference. The HTC peak performer, Elijah Wilson, for the Shawna Clears against Asheville. As he was able to deliver, Coach, as you mentioned, coming down the stretch, had 13 points, 6 boards. And he was really crucial in trying to get you guys back into the swing of things there late in that game. Well, there weren't a lot of highlights in this game, but the fact that we didn't rebound the ball well, the reason that uh, he's player of the game in this is he got six rebounds. And when your two guard gets six rebounds in a game where you're looking, that shows he's competing. So he deserves that for Asheville's game. When we return, Coach will sit down with Colton Ray St. Cyr. That's coming up next right here on the Cliff Ellis Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Burroughs and Chapin. Buckamon Land and Timber has been serving the Grand Strand since 1982. The ultimate goal of Waccamaw Land and Timber is the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. If you're looking for a place to relax, hunt, or fish, the professionals at Waccamaw Land and Timber can find you the perfect recreational property. Call 449-0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Waccamaw Land and Timber. Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the nightly specials and how much they enjoy the live music. But when you experience that incredible waterfront view, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. At its heart, above all else, A&I has had a long-standing commitment to the community. Our driving force is our dedication to the people we serve. From Myrtle Beach to Florence, Wilmington, to Charleston. Every job is different and every community is unique. No matter what disaster has brought us to you, it's our commitment that will keep us here. We're proud to be celebrating 40 years of service to the Carolinas. And we're looking forward to 40 more. Locals love Creek Rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. 
It's time to get your fun on at Broadway at the Beach. Specializing in one-of-a-kind shopping, shoppers will find treasures of every kind from unique gift shops you won't find anywhere else to nationally recognized names. And while shopping, don't forget to refuel at one of more than 20 mouth-watering restaurants and eateries where you can choose from the all-American hamburger and milkshake to fajitas and sushi. Broadway is also home to spectacular attractions and live entertainment. For more information, visit broadwayatthebeach.com. Broadway at the Beach, positively awesome. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by H and H Immunizations. Here today on Sean's Corner, Colton Ray St. Cyr, a product of Virginia, really coming into his own, really playing very good basketball right now. Uh, when he came in the program, we worked on getting his strength together, teaching him the game. Uh, but he's long, he's lengthy, he gets rebounds, he knocks down shots, but he comes to play. Very proud of him and very proud of what he's doing academically. Tell everybody what your major is. Communications. And tell everybody what your mom had, what your mom received uh, this past year. She actually got a, a, her, her law degree and she also passed the bar and she's starting her own firm this upcoming year. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Colton is a guy that brings it on the court and off the court. And he's also pretty catty. He's a pretty good singer. He's a pretty good singer. Tell me who your favorite singer is. Uh, it's going to be kind of off the wall. But I actually listen to a little bit of Beyonce. I like Beyonce. Can you give me a little Beyonce or any song that you want? What you feel today? Uh, let's see. What, what song did I just listen to? Uh, you know it last that she did? Golly, she brought the house down. Yeah. She brought it she down. Yeah, she did. Uh, let's see. At last, my love is coming along. My lonely days are over. For you are mine at last. I'm a Beyonce fan, but I'm a Colton Ray fan too, buddy. I'm proud of you, buddy. On Shots Corner today, Colton Ray. We call him Colton Ray. It's Colton Ray St. Cyr, but it's Colton Ray. Coming up next here on the Cliff Ella Show, Coach will take a look at the week ahead as the Shauna Clares continue conference play with two games on the horizon. We'll be right back right here on News Channel 15. Don't go anywhere. The Cliff Ella Show is brought to you by Southwind Engineering. Strand Orthopedic is a proud supporter of Coastal Carolina Athletics. Strand Orthopedic provides the best care from simple sprains to the most complex spinal or sports related injuries. It is our mission to get patients back to life and back in the game and help them resume normal activities in the safest and shortest amount of time. Get in the game with Strand Orthopedic. My HTC Digital Cable Service connects me to my favorite shows and new release movies with video on demand. So I can watch what I want, when I want. And I can choose from more than 200 channels, including Digital Cable Sports. I'll never miss a play for my favorite team in any season. With HTC, it's a win-win. Because HTC connects me with the things that mean the most. Score big with ESPN3. More college sports action on eight more channels. Only $5 a month on Passport Plus. Call 369-8967. HTC, this is life. Connect with... Southwind Engineering is a fast-growing architecture, engineering, consulting, and construction services organization. The principals at Southwind have a long-standing history of client focus, quality design, and technological innovation. Whether you are building your new dream home or your next major project, call the professionals at Southwind Engineering today to guide you through the process from start to finish. So totally free checking is completely free? Yes, sir. Right. Next you'll tell me there's free online banking. Actually, there is. Free online bill pay? Mm-hmm. No way I can get a free quick card, debit card, the instant I open an account. Check. Yeah, check. Like, free first order of checks? All included. What? And a free gift? And a free gift. Come in today and sign up for Crestcom's totally free checking. Stop by any of our convenient locations. I'm on candid camera, right? The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timber. Welcome back here to the Cliff Ellis Show. Another tough week ahead for the Shauna Clears as we turn the page now. But before we get that, Coach, you're uh, pretty close to a milestone here. Not one coach 
in Division One basketball has won 150 games at four different schools. You win on Wednesday, Coach, and you will do that. Well, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, so you kind of catch me by surprise. I, Those are the fun things, catch well, you by surprise. <laughs> well, and then you got to get the rule emotions in. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, it goes back to the players. Uh, it goes back to the players and also goes back to the fact that all those universities, now Coastal Carolina, have given me the opportunity to coach this beautiful game. And, you know, great players, you know, while we're on that. I mean, the 25th anniversary of the ACC championship is this weekend at Clemson, unfortunately. Uh, I can't be there. Uh, you have to schedule it during basketball season, I guess, but we're playing Gardner-Webb. So, you know, that reunion. So players at South Alabama, players at, at Clemson, players at Auburn, players at Coastal Carolina make that happen. Of course, we hadn't gotten it yet, uh, but- uh, We're getting close. We, we, we're getting close, but uh, really and truly, I don't have a lot to say other than that because I, it, you're giving me information I didn't know about. We'll, we'll touch on that next week. We've got two games to grab that one victory. you got Winthrop here at the HTC Center. Let's hope it's not like Coach K getting, getting, getting his. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. They kept talking and they kept putting it back. Yeah. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get that we'll done. Do, we'll just get one, one win right. and be done with it and move past right. it, Coach. Well, you get that first opportunity Wednesday here against Winthrop. Just talk a little bit about what, uh, what you think they're going to bring to the table on Wednesday night here. Well, geez. I mean, fans, uh, I mean the fans are going to be into this basketball game. I mean, Winthrop. We played in the conference finals against them last year. They've got those three shooters coming back. You know, they it's going to be the same game. It's just going to be an absolute battle, and they're going to come in with a mission. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we kept them out of the NCAA tournament. We beat them to get to the NCAA tournament. It is going to be an absolute battle Wednesday night. If I were a fan, if I were a fan of college basketball, and I've, I've seen the Clemson, South Carolina, but if I wanted to see a good college basketball game, I'd get a ticket Wednesday night. I would buy that ticket. I would do that. Well, there you go. You got that one. Then, Coach, you go back on the road. We all go back on the road as you go back to North Carolina to Gardner-Webb, a team that uh, beat you here just a couple of short weeks well, ago. I'll tell you what, they played an A game. They got the big guy inside, and they shoot those threes. And, uh, you know, we start the second half of the race. We know we're in the race the first half, but now – there's nine more games to be played in the second half, and you know who can withstand the flurry. You know we're a finesse team, not a physical team. We gotta we gotta come out and show our mettle, and and uh, you know it's good. A lot of a lot of basketball ahead. Fans are in for a fun run. Well, we got a lot of basketball left, as Coach just alluded to. We're uh, almost to the halfway point, and there is a dog fight for the top spot in this conference for the regular season championship. We'll see what Coastal Carolina does down the stretch, but it should be fun. That's going to do it for the Cliff Ellis Show for this week. I'm Brandon Dunn along with Coastal Carolina men's basketball coach Cliff Ellis. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday. We'll see you next Sunday, same time, same place, for another edition of the Cliff Ellis Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by HTC. At its heart, above all else, A&I has had a long-standing commitment to the community. Our driving force is our dedication to the people we serve. From Myrtle Beach to Florence. Wilmington to Charleston. Every job is different and every community is unique. No matter what disaster has brought us to you. It's our commitment that will keep us here. We're proud to be celebrating 40 years of service to the Carolinas. And we're looking forward to 40 more. Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the nightly specials and how much they enjoy the live music. But when you experience that incredible waterfront view, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. As parents, you ensure your child is fed and clothed, but are you doing all you can to make sure they're healthy? Each year, tens of millions of children contract the flu virus. Help your child fight the flu and be a health hero in their life. Health Hero offers school-located vaccinations throughout the Southeast. We help protect your children, family, and community with convenient, safe, and painless options. Administering flu mist nasal spray to participating students. And there are no out-of-pocket expenses regardless of insurance. Become a Health Hero today. Locals love Creek Rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps, and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Logan Steakhouse.